Hi friends, welcome to the Python for Beginners course. My name is Admiral Ghost and uh, in this video we'll talk of some string operations. In the previous video we see some basic data types and uh, string was one of them and uh, there are some operations which we can perform on strings which are uh, not uh, applicable to other data types. So let's just see the first is concatenation and uh, as the name says we can concatenate two strings by just putting a plus sign in between them that means let's just open up python interpreter and uh, if we type in two strings let's say hello plus world If we type in two string and uh, plus them, it will concatenate it. So these were two different strings and now they are concatenated to form the single hello world. So this is concatenation operation. The next is repetition and uh, what it says is we can multiply a string with some v number n and uh, it will replicate this string n number of times so if we multiply hello with 3 it will print in hello 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 so if we do in hello into let's say 4 it will print hello 4 times next is indexing and what does indexing says we can uh, index specific elements of the string by just using their index values and uh, what it means is let's say we have a string say i love python and uh, let's just store this in uh, A variable name st now if we want to find out uh, what the fifth character is in this string we can just simply type in st and then uh, we can pass in the value 4 and to access the fifth element we'll pass in the 4 and that's because the indexing always starts with 0 so for any programming language if uh, you are uh, dealing with indexing then uh, make sure you are aware of it and uh, you give it attention the first element of uh, this string is uh, i and this i is at 0th index and then we have a space and remember space also counts so at the 0th index we have i at the first index we have space then at second we have l and so on so at the fifth fourth index we have v which is the fifth element and uh, we can also do indexing from the end as well so in order to do indexing from end all we need to do is put in a negative sign here so if we type in st-4 it will give us the fourth element of the string from the last and uh, if we count in from here this is minus 1 this n is minus 1 then this o is minus 2 h is minus 3 and t is minus 4 so we can also do indexing from uh, and as well in python which is a great feature and uh, this is not uh, available in uh, other programming languages like C so that's one of the cool features of Python next is slicing we can even slice the strings in uh, Python and to do this all we need to do is uh, type in a pass in a range so if we want to know which string characters are there in between 2 and 6 we can 
type in this and we get it love that means it will start from zero second index which is zero then first and then second so l is at the second index l is at the second index now it will read elements up to the sixth index so second third fourth fifth it will read elements up to fifth index and uh, whenever it says it sees the sixth element it will ignore it so it will start from second index read the second element then go on and read up to sixth index and uh, it will not read the sixth index it will read only up to the index 5 so it will start from l and goes up to e that is string slicing now we have a inbuilt function called len and this is used to determine the length of the particular string so if we type in length and uh, give it some string let's say we give it python is amazing it will give us the length of the string so if we used length against the variable which we defined that was st it will give us the length of variable next is comparison and uh, how do we compare two strings that's uh, something which uh, I'm gonna tell you now so if you compare hello with uh, jello let's say you want to check if hello is less than jello or not how python figure out whether it is true or not so that depends upon the characters that means python will see the first character from here this is h and uh, the first character from here is j so it will read the first character of uh, this string and uh, evaluate it against the first character of this string that means it will first check this condition and see if it evaluates to true or false and uh, how do we check whether h is less than j is simply by checking their alphabetical sequence so h comes before j in um, alphabets so h is always less than j and that's why python printed it true and uh, what if you compare h with h actually two strings let's say h i and h j also says true let's just do the reverse of it and we get false so how did this evaluation work is it first checks the first element h and h and uh, they are same so python goes for checking the second element that means it takes the second element of this string which is i and uh, checked it against the second uh, element of this string j and uh, i comes before j so that was true and in this we checked i is uh, greater than j then we get false now what if you want to search a string inside a string that means we defined a variable before called st and it was i love python so what if i want to see whether python is inside the string st or not so we can simply use the in operator and what this in operator will do is take this string and check whether this string is there inside this string or not and st is a string variable you can either use it or you can either use it this way 
and in both ways you can use it so this is the variable name st which contains the value i love python so the in operator will see whether this python is inside this string which is referenced by this variable and it will say true because the python is inside i love so if we see like in st we get false now the last thing which i want to cover in this video is uh, escaping special characters that means we have some special characters reserved for uh, string operations and uh, one of them is backward slash and backward slash r and uh, there are so many so what if we want to print a string which says hello world and then print in a new line and uh, then prints in some it's a second line so if we printed this string hello world then backward slash n and then it's a second line so we get these two strings hello world and it's a second line in different lines so how does it work was uh, first it printed out this hello world then uh, it saw a backward slash and uh, in python backward slash is a reserve character so whatever be after the backward slash is uh, treated as a escape sequence by the python interpreter so it sees this backward slash n and this refers to a new line in python so it just printed out the new line here and then it took this string it's a second line and prints in here now what if you want to print in a backward slash because backward slash is itself a reserve character in python if you want to print backward slash you have to actually write in like this that means you have to escape the backward slash as well if you want to print it so it will print up a backward slash and if you try to print it like this it will throw you an error it is a special character and it is escaping this uh, double quotes which is uh, indicating the interpreter that uh, the string ends in here and if the string doesn't end it will throw you a error saying end of a line while scanning string literal so that's it for this video. I hope you like it and uh, I'll see you in the next video.